Welcome to On the Road, where we explore the peculiarities of traffic around the world. Today, we are going to talk about Bangalore, the Silicon Valley of India. Bangalore has seen rapid growth in population and economic development in the past decades, leading to an exponential increase in the number of vehicles on the roads. This has resulted in an infamous traffic problem in the city. And today, we will be exploring the causes of the traffic congestion, the measures taken to address it, and the solution proposed by experts. Bangalore has grown exponentially in the past decades and has become one of the most important economic hubs in India. It is home to many IT, outsourcing and startup companies and it's known for its pleasant climate and greenery. But this growth has come at a cost. The city is facing an ever worsening traffic problem. Bangalore was once a city of narrow roads and congested traffic. But the problem has been only exaggerated by the influx of people and vehicles. According to Karnataka State Road Transport Corporation, the number of vehicles on the roads has increased by more than 40% in the last decade. The city has seen an increase in number of cars, buses and two-wheelers leading to road congestion and traffic jams. The traffic problem in Bangalore is also caused by a lack of infrastructure. The city does not have enough roads to accommodate the increasing number of vehicles. The existing roads are often in poor condition with potholes, cracks and other implements. This can lead to traffic bottlenecks and long delays. Moreover, the city's public transport system is inadequate. The Bangalore Metropolitan Transport Corporation, which operates buses in the city, is facing a shortage of buses due to an increase in demand. This has resulted in overcrowded buses, making it difficult for commuters to get to their destinations on time. So let's just talk about what government has done to address this issue. The government of Karnataka has taken several measures to address the traffic problem in Bangalore. These include improving infrastructure such as widening roads, constructing new roads and improving the public transport system. The government has also introduced several traffic regulations such as imposing fines on traffic offenders and introducing a no hawking rule in certain areas. The government has also launched a number of initiatives to encourage the use of public transport. These include the Bengaluru Commuter Rail Project, which aims to connect the city with surrounding areas and the Bengaluru Water Taxi Project, which will enable people to travel to various destinations in the city by boat. Even the experts have proposed several solutions to address this traffic problem in Bangalore. These include increasing number of flyovers and underpasses, introducing congestion pricing and setting up dedicated bus lanes. Experts have also suggested introducing carpooling and bike sharing schemes as well as encouraging people to use public transport. It is also important to create a comprehensive plan for the future of city's transport system. This plan should include measures to reduce the number of vehicles on the roads such as introducing electric vehicles and increasing the use of public transport. So that's all for the episode of On the Road. Tune in next time as we explore the traffic in another city. Until then, Stay safe and drive responsibly.